Him, I just gave you instructions in the dressing room. Give me a good clean fight. I know you both good clean fighters, and I won't bother you. Two things you must remember. Obey my commands at all times, and most important, protect yourself at all times. The questions, shake hands, good luck to both of you. A fighter who... There's a lot of jab him. Don't put too much energy into it to give him to the top. Pretty conventional style, Ray Mercer. He likes to history over Mike Tyson. There's a lot of revisionist history about Holyfield's punching power, and some observers point out... Establishing the uh, jab supremacy. And trainer changes several times during his career. The past few years, he's been working with Tommy Parks, and he says, I'm learning to box. Conditioning will... To tell the story in the end. Good double left took Lee in body punching early, hoping it'll pay interest later on. Right hand lead by Witherspoon. Mercer shook it off. There you go. Very good. They trade right. You see these two Polax jabs. Boom, boom, boom. How'd you like to stand in with these? Well, if you're going to set that old right hand, you shouldn't move it from side to side. When they start moving it from side to side. Find out what makes him move that right hand over to the other side of it. And try to counter it when it comes. And counter over the shocking knockout of one-time superlative prospect of rising contenders as Shabalala meets his demise. That right hand that he told his corner he was ready to be up to the fight was the way in. He's supposed to be in, be in the jabbing business at all. And there's the first solid combination for Mercer as he lands a right hand over the top. And George, sometimes some guys, because they have this little pouch, they expect for you to stay with head punches, George. If you can see the punch coming, you got a much better. <coughs> Quick right hand over the top by Witherspoon. And Mercer comes back with an uppercut of his own. Never in. Another uppercut. <laughs> Round four, an awakening. Who's doing some work against Witherspoon with power punches in the... You believe Ray Mercer is fainting? <laughs> <laughs> we have the same score, Harold, but I wouldn't call what he was doing lackadaisical. I'd find some other words for it. Hard right hand landed by Mercer. Witherspoon counters to oh, the body. Then big right, right hand. hand over the top as he's looking at... Rep a professional prize fighter. And you see the quickness of Witherspoon's... That uppercut again, and Witherspoon just turned into him and just didn't let him throw it. Hopefully he got hurt, shot. but Mercer... Time, though. Woo! And Witherspoon intelligently goes to the body. Mercer not throwing back. Mercer's been in this position before. He knows Spoon seems not to know what to do. And there's the uppercut again inside for Mercer, and he's doing that. <coughs> Shot. That jab, do a little bit of boxing. I've given him two in the last three rounds. Good counter left hook there by Tim Witherspoon. Make it tie it, so he's holding back a lot of the punches he should be. Left uppercut by Witherspoon started a combination, and Mercer... I think what caused the problem, he was able to land a good right hand to Mercer to shake him. And from that point on, he thinks, I can knock him out anytime I want, but it doesn't go like that. <laughs> that was right hand. Most of them looking to throw hard punches still. Left underdog, left fight. Mercer is really doing the best, if you ask me. He's been doing better. Both of these fighters have five kids. Both of them are going to need a lot of... ...able to find out how to win. He needs a trainer to teach him how to win fight. Well, he thinks he's... <laughs> ...the Brown 10. That'll be no surprise in context of Mercer's career. <laughs> the right hand. says Witherspoon spitting blood out Good. there 
to the body by Witherspoon. Landed four punches. Terrible Tim Witherspoon. Somehow or another, I just get turned off by a guy laying all over another guy. And I Spoon. Well, Mer the referee is in good shape. <laughs> but boy, they're just going at each other. And if I had a hat, I would sure tip it. Harold Letterman. Three judges at ringside trying to figure out who's gotten the better of whom in a pitched battle between Ray Mercer and Tim Witherspoon. And for the seventh time in his last eight fights, Ray Mercer goes all the way to the final bell. My my eyes tell me this. Cards. Paul Venti scores the belt 97 to 93. Calvin Claxton scores it 97 to 91. And Joseph Pasquale scores the bout 97-93 for the winner by unanimous decision, Merciless Ray Mercer! So Ray Mercer's luck finally changes. <laughs>